Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Anil Joshi. Welcomes you to my series Learn Radiology with Dr. Anil Joshi. Today's topic is based on radiophysics that is a pixel and voxels. Though pixels and voxels we are familiar since many days we do not know a physics behind it and how it works. Now today we are going to see it in detail pixels and voxel. Before that a disclosure. We are going to use a material which is used in our department since many years. We use it for teaching purposes. We have taken some material also from the net which is royalty free. I acknowledge with thanks from whom we have got this. Now with this brief introduction, let us get going to the topic that is the Vixel and Pixels. Now what is a Pixel, what is a Voxel, we are going to see it in today's lecture. Now moving from 2D that is a two dimensional to 3D that is a three dimensional pictures we are talking about. We move from pixels that is a picture element to voxels which is a volume element. Now pixels are more commonly known as voxels. Now voxels are just the, the 3D counterpart of a pixel which are 2D. So a pixel is 2D versus its counterpart is a voxel which is 3D. A 2D image is composed of many squares. A single image is consisting of many image. Now a 3D volume of the image is composed of many tiny cubicles. In 2D we have one dimension for width, one dimension for the height and another dimension for the depth. So which are the three dimension? Length, width and depth are the three dimensions of the 3D and they form a voxel versus a length and breadth only will form a pixel that is a two dimensional. Now what is a matrix which is another thing we have to know in this series. The image is represented as a matrix by a number. The matrix is a two dimensional array of the number arranged in row and columns. Now each individual element or number in the image matrix represent a three dimensional volume of element in the object and that is called as a voxel. A voxel is represented in the image as a two dimensional element that is called a pixel. So these are the three things which we have seen now. Now let us go in more detail of a matrix. Here we are seeing how a matrix is formed. Now you are seeing how a pixel is, pixel is a two dimensional, now voxel which is a three dimensional and ultimately a matrix is formed. A CT pixel size is determined by dividing the field of vision FOV by the matrix size which is generally 512 by 512 in most of the CT scanners. A field of view, field of vision also it is called as is the diameter of the body region area being imaged. For example, 25 centimeter for a head and 40 centimeter for the abdomen. Now it is a diagrammatic representation how the pixels are. A pixel represents the smallest sampled 2D element in an image. It is a dimension given along two axes in millimeters. Dictating in plane spatial resolution, pixel sizes ranges in the clinical MRI from 1 to 1 millimeter square to sub millimeters. Now here we are seeing three images that is of 4, 6 and 12. Now a voxel is a volume element defined in three dimensions. Now here again we are seeing a difference between voxel and a voxel. Now for pixel pixel two dimensional, voxel three dimensional position. Pixel is absolute position is known versus vol voxel relative position is known. Now what is a volume? Volume pixel does not have volume and voxel it is a three dimensional so it has got a volume. Now voxel size is an important component of the image quality. Now we are going to see what is the practical importance of these uh, pixel voxels and 
matrix. Now, voxel is an important component of the image which is uh, required for the quality. Voxel is the three dimensional analog of a pixel. Now, voxel size is related to the both pixel size and a slice thickness. Pixel size is dependent on both the field of view and the image matrix. Now, pixel size is equal to the field of view divided by matrix size. Now, matrix size is typically 128 by 256 by or 512 by pixel size is typically between 0.5 to 1.5. The smaller the pixel size, the greater image spatial resolution. So, for resolution, you need to have all this information. Now, increased voxel size results in increased signal to noise ratio. The trade-off for the increased voxel size is increased spatial resolution. Now, voxel size can be influenced by receiver coil characteristics in MRI. For example, a surface coil directly improves resolution by enabling a smaller voxel size for the same signal to noise ratio. Voxel size can be contributed to the artifacts in MRI. So, this is the important thing we should know. Many MR artifacts are attributed to the errors in understanding spatial encoding of the radio frequency signals arising from image voxel. Motion artifacts can occur in phase encoding direction because a spatial tissue voxel may change location between acquisition cycles leading to phase encoding errors. This manifest as a streak or ghost uh, as a artifacts in the final image and can be reduced when the image gating and regional pre-saturation techniques are used. Now, this is a diagrammatic presentation how a pixel is and how a voxel is. Now, first image is a single pixel then is the voxel presentation. Pixel is 2D voxel is a 3D. This is a diagrammatic representation of same. Now, what is the significance? A image resolution is directly proportional to the pixel and voxel size. A pixel represents the smallest sample 2D element in the image. It has a dimension given along the axis in millimeters dictating in plane spatial resolution. Now, pixel size ranges in the clinical MRI from millimeters to sub millimeters, a voxel is the volume element defined in 3D space. Now, again we are in the significance. Its dimensions are given by the pixel together with the thickness of the slice, the measurement along the third axis. Now, the slice thickness in clinical MRI vary from a maximum near 5 millimeter achieving using of 2D multi slice imaging to sub millimeter achieving with the 3D scanning techniques. MRI spatial resolution which determines the radiologist ability to distinguish structures as separate and distinct from each other together with the images uh, in contrast is inherently related to the acquired voxel volume. In the, in the simplest case, the volume of the view FOV acquisition matrix and the slice thickness determines the voxel volume. The pixel volume that is FOV matrix determines the in plane resolution. Reducing the FOV, increasing the matrix number of the reducing the slice thickness results in image with a reduced voxel volume. Now, SNR that is signal noise ratio is directly proportional to the voxel size. Assuming that the number of phase encoding steps is held constant. Small voxel produce MR image with a high spatial resolution, but the lower signal to noise ratio and thus may appear grainy compared to the images acquired with a large pixel volume. Now, with that we are coming to end of the lecture. We thank you for giving me your valuable time. All the details, all more details many more details, many lectures are there in our uh, YouTube channel. Do visit it. If you like the lecture, if you find it is useful, give it a like and tell your friends to have 
a look at it let them hear it and gain the knowledge thank you goodbye and take care